What's up everybody, Sebastian here, and in this video, what I would like to be talking about is how to stop caring what other people think of you. Alright? Now, firstly, what you need to realize here is this is not some mainstream bullshit advice you heard a million fucking times, okay? Like... Uh, people often respond to like How do I stop caring what other people think? They respond to be. Oh you know what? In order for you to stop caring what other people think of you Just Don't listen to their opinion And just go and do your own thing Okay? I bet you heard this This answer a fucking million times So like In this video like I kind of want to shift on the other side here and give you the theory behind it which why it really shouldn't fucking matter okay so let's get started okay so um i basically want to touch on no one can approve or disapprove of you because they don't fully know you okay now let's start with the the point where no one knows you okay seven billion people on this universe don't know you okay Seven billion people on this universe got brought up in this world differently. Seven billion people on this universe has a different story than you. Seven billion people on this universe look different than you. Okay, there's only one you on this universe that has the exact same story as you and there's only one person on this universe that experienced that ex exact story in your own way okay so like to give an example okay uh, yeah so there's only one person that has the same story as you and you are the only person that experienced your life, okay? That experienced your life, okay? So, now having said that, okay, so like, right here, I lived 19 years on this planet, okay? 19 years, okay? And what I have to say, do is like let's say someone else okay says this one comment than me on me saying oh i don't like your haircut okay D did that one comment is that comment true does that person who says that doesn't like my haircut really know me it's only one word. One word they say. Okay. <laughs> um, and for example. <laughs> um, we can give other examples. For example. Let's say someone insults you. Says you are fucking retard. Like boom. On the street. They say you are fucking retard. Do they really know your life story? Does that comment make sense? Um, other examples could be Your teachers tell you you aren't good enough Does your teacher know your whole life story? Nope Your friends tell you um, You should be different Do they really know you? They tell you, to, uh, they tell you, go to university, don't travel. Do they really know you? 
okay? Um, also, like, if you go do a breakup, or you explain how your relationships suck, or how you want a divorce, or how much freedom you need in a relationship, etc. No matter how much you explain it to the other person, they didn't experience it. They didn't experience the breakup you went through. If you go to a breakup, for example, and other people tell you, Oh, just get over it. It's not a big deal. You can find someone else. They didn't experience your pain. They didn't experience everything you had with this person. It's just pure speculation what others tell, you know? <laughs> and it's like, for example, like, <laughs> it's like, Let's say you walk on the street, and you don't dress really good, and people judge you. They know nothing about you, man. They know nothing about you. And if you then open up, okay, and say, oh, you know what? Um, I, I wore flip-flops in the winter because it's just my style, and I love it, you know, and... I'm different than other others and I love wearing flip flops and I don't like wearing winter shoes for example like then I oh yeah then they know you a bit more you see then it's like that one comment what they said they were like oh yeah okay he's a bit different than others you know so it's like that one insult what people tell you has everything to do with them okay listen to this quote here no matter what other people say about you has every single fucking thing to do with them and not you, okay? It's like, when someone says something about you, it has everything to do with them, not you, okay? It's like, the reason why, why do people say something about other people, why do pe they judge other people, is because that other person triggered an insecurity in the other person and then the other person would just say it, you know? For example, <laughs> I, I can give a shit ton example. Let's say I see a really unattractive girl. I would say, boom, she's ugly. I don't like her face. I'd never date her. I just say it like that, you know? Even me. Everyone, uh, 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 every single person, every human is like that, right? But it's like, when, when she we really, she said like, oh, you know, but it's not my fault that I have that face, you know, blah, blah. But it's like, me, it's like, doesn't matter, I don't give a fuck, you know, boom, move to the next. So it's kind of like, it triggers an insecurity where she just, we have nothing to, to do with that person, and we go and find someone else, you know, look for people that do like us and it's like that person who who like i insulted for example shouldn't take that personally because here's the thing okay here's the fucking thing you aren't meant to get along with seven billion people on this planet there are people that will love you and there are people that will hate you okay and um, when someone doesn't like you realize that it's not a good thing, it's not a bad thing, it's natural, okay? The people that hate me, the people that I hate, the people that love me, and the people that I love, okay? It's just how it is, okay? And the goal here is not to put up this fake front, to always please the other person to get them to like you the goal here is to be real and find the people that you love and drop the people you don't like the people that you don't get along with okay now the second thing i want to mention here of to stop caring what others think of you is to realize that no one actually cares about you. And I know it's harsh. 
And I know you're saying, oh, you know what, Sebastian, I'm the center of the fucking universe watching this video. This is me, the life of me, the story of me. Everyone is watching me. But guess what? Everyone else is... is... thinking the exact same thing. Like, right now, me watching this video, I'm saying, you know what? So this whole universe is watching out about me. It's all about me. Realize it's not, okay? Everyone else is in their own little world. Okay? And generally, the funny thing here is, we care more about what the other people think about us than what we think about other people. Let me repeat it. We care more about what the other people think about us than what we think about other people. If you're, for example, on a metro and you're like, oh my gosh, oh, oh, oh what, what does that person think of me? What does that person think about me? What does that person think about me? Oh my gosh, I don't want to talk to that person because they will say something back. Uh, oh my gosh, I don't want to talk to that person because they will see me. Okay, you're doing all of that. But in reality, every single person is doing the exact same thing. They're all in their own little world. They're all focused on their own life. Okay? So, um, I really want you to also take that into consideration, okay? That like, no matter how you much you embarrass yourself, no matter how ashamed you are, no one cares. No one cares. Okay? No one cares. Okay. And the third thing what I want you to realize here of how to stop caring what other people think of you is that someday we are all going to die. And you don't have the luxury to give a fuck. Okay? You don't have the luxury to spend all of this time think, caring about the wrong stuff. Caring what other people think of you. And having that hold you back from pursuing your dreams. You don't have the time. Okay? Like, imagine if you would die right now. Just a second, you'll die right now. And that could happen. You could die tomorrow. Okay? Let's say, let's say, okay, you die right now. And you reflect your life from your, when you're dead. You realize, like you really realize what matters and what doesn't. Okay? So it's like, um, start like thinking into this perspective and like, start like living your life from the perspective of you being dead. And it's like you realize what matters and what doesn't. Oh, that person that was holding me back the other day for telling me I had to go to school but I wanted to go uh, to Dubai did that opinion really matter from the perspective of you being dead? he was no it didn't matter I should have gone to Dubai um, my t what, what my teacher said about me oh I need to do the exam but actually I wanted to go to this wedding did the teacher's opinion really matter? no oh I go to the wedding okay so it's like Viewing your, your life from the perspective of you, you being dead really clears a lot of stuff, okay? So, I hope you enjoyed my video. Feel free to drop a like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends if you enjoyed. I'm going to be more doing more videos like this in the future. And peace out. Mm -hmm.